Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I have a very fun video to share with you. I'll be sharing a shop with me and a haul at the very end. So this past Friday I got together with my good friend Jamie from over at Border Bananas and we did some shopping together. The first place we went to was Hopped Antique Market, which is in Apple Valley, Minnesota. I have shared us shopping there before and you guys seem to like it a lot. So I hope you'll enjoy it today as well. And then, of course, we did some other thrift store shopping. So, first off today, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the shop with me part of the video to share all the goodies that we saw while we were out. And then I'll come back and I'll share with you what I picked up throughout the day. So, let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone. It's Robin. And today, it's a very exciting day. I'm meeting up with Jamie from Board of Bananas. And we are going to go do some shopping together. We are starting out at our favorite occasional sale called Hopped antique market it's in apple valley minnesota we've been here before together and then after that i'm sure we'll hit a few thrift stores as well unfortunately nicole was going to join us but she's not feeling all that great today so she decided to stay home so it'll just be jamie and i i'm sitting outside the store right now i got here a little early so i i'm gonna hang out a little bit and pretty soon jamie will be here and we can go do some shopping i'm so excited look who i found <laughs> <laughs> A little laundry cart That's awesome. in green. Isn't that cute? Thirty-two dollars. Wonder what those are. Those like floaties for boating. It says it? it says float on them. I don't know what that means. Another basket. That's the third one. All these years I've never seen one in real life, and now I've seen three. So cute. Look over here. The red table. And then the mint jar can. Take that sign right there, guys. Garden junk. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool basket, too. I don't know what kind of basket that is, but it's got little wood handles. I like it. This is cute. A little baby wash basin. All right, adorable. I like this too.
done at the first sale. I've got a little bit of stuff. Jamie got some little bit of stuff. And then, so now we're gonna figure out where we're gonna go next. Yeah, I don't know. Was it in Goodwill? Or something like that? Or their savers? I don't know. But anyways, we'll figure it out. All right, we're headed to Apple Valley. This is Apple Valley, Apple Valley, Goodwill. Woohoo! with eating and we're gonna head into unique the best thrift store ever Ooh, look at the that's cool
gonna head into at home now. We're starting to drag a little, but our back seats are filled. I have no more like flat spaces left. No, me either. <laughs> We've been doing good. second goodwill that we're gonna go into. First, Jamie's gotta come up with some more storage on her phone. <laughs> so as you can see, we had some great things to look at and we found some amazing items to bring home with us. And it was an all around very enjoyable day. Um, we were so tired by the end of it though. We shopped for, I don't know, we started at nine o'clock in the morning. I think we got done a little bit before four o'clock in the afternoon. And basically we only stopped to have lunch so there was some major shopping going on but it was so much fun it was so great to see jamie because i don't think i can't remember i think february was the last time we actually saw each other like in person so it was good to see her <laughs> all right so now for the haul part of the video so i have so much to share with you of what i brought home it is too much for one video, so I'm going to break it up into two videos. I'm going to share with you what I picked up at the Hopped Antique Market today, and then one of the thrift stores. And then on Thrift Store Thursday this week, I will share with you the rest of the stuff that I picked up throughout the day, because it is too much. Plus, I also got some goodies from Jamie from things that she picked up for me over the last couple months. So I'm going to share those as well on Thursday. So... Let's get into what I found at the first place we went to, which is the Hopped Antique Market. Yeah, that place is so amazing. You guys know how much I love it. So I found some really good goodies and amazingly things that I have been looking for for a really long time. So the first thing I found at the Antique Market was this right here. Isn't this adorable? It's just a little tag. Like for advertising, $5.75. And this was only 25 cents. And I thought this would be so cute in my little cubbies. So I picked that up. All right, so then the next thing I picked up was something from my vintage garden collection. And it is this metal sprinkler head. And I think it is so cool. I love the green on it. I'm trying to read what it says. If it has a name on it. Let me get my glasses out here. Allen Co. Chicago, USA. I don't really know how old this is, but you can tell it's been around a little bit. It's pretty beat up looking, and it's completely metal. There's like no plastic parts on these. These things actually work pretty well most of the time if they don't have any cracks or anything in them. My mom has one that she has used for years. So anyways, I thought this would be fun to add to my collection of sprinklers and like vintage garden um stuff that i have down in my on my potting bench so i thought this was pretty cool i can't remember how much i spent on that because it doesn't have the tag on it anymore <laughs> but let's see i think in total i spent like hmm, about 32 dollars at the store all right so the next item actually the next few items i'm so excited about i know i've talked about in the past about looking for utensils for the kitchen that have the red handles that I can display and I have such a hard time finding them that are in good enough condition to actually have any of the red left on the handles well when I was out shopping this time I found some I'm so excited so I found quite a few pieces the first one is this little pie server looks like this and look at the handle it's red and white 
Isn't that cool? It's even got a little bit of touch of black to it. This part is, um, it's all plastic though, but that's all right. I think it is awesome and I love pie. So this will be perfect. A little pie server or cake server. I think it is so cool and I absolutely love the handle. I think that is so cool. All right, so the next thing I found was a pastry cutter and it looks like this. And look at that nice red handle. Oh my goodness. This one does have a wood handle and I think it is so cool. I cannot wait to use this um, in my displays. I think it is going to be so cute. And then I found two more. Can you believe this? I told you I found a lot. The next thing, which actually my girls were pretty excited about because I don't have one of these like this type, but I found an ice cream scoop with a red handle. <laughs> And I don't have the kind, you know, that does, you know, it's the little, I just have the scoopy kind. They're pretty excited about this. I'm like, this isn't to use, people. This is just to go and display. But I don't know. I could probably use it. I just don't want to ruin it. Because look at that. It's got a nice red handle on it. I love it. So that was pretty cool. I was super excited about that. And then I have one more little red handled item, which I think is the most adorable thing ever. And I... I'm so excited to have found it. Let me take the tag thing off. There we go. This is my favorite one. I've never seen anything like this before. So you guys might have to tell me what it is. But it looks like this. It is this little handle with the wheel. And then it's got the beaters underneath it. So I am assuming that this goes on a mason jar. And then you put the lid down on it. And then you can turn it. I'm assuming because it's got this little metal flange on it that looks like the top of a mason jar to me. So let me know if any of you know what this is called. I would really love to know because look at that. It's got the wood handle on the top and then on the cute little rolly thing too. Look at that. So adorable. All right, so I have two more things to share with you, and this next item I think is the coolest thing I've ever found. It is a class autographs book, and it's in this cute little red color, which of course is going to be perfect for my um, cubby shelves. And I thought it was so adorable, and it's actually got a lot of things filled in. So the first page, it says, School Day Memories of Ruth Augustine, class of 1947-48. You see that? <laughs> and then it has a couple other things like class officer, like school colors, social activities, like were you in drama or plays, choir, music, um, her favorites, her favorite teacher, friends, study, music, flower kind of thing. So it's kind of cool. And then, so it goes through that a couple things. And then it gets into autographs. And then people have written in them. And most of the book is filled up with pages and pages of cute little notes to Ruth. And I just think this is the coolest thing ever. I haven't had time to like go through and read all the, all the little entries yet, but I just think it's so cool. I think it's so adorable. So I'm really in love with this and it'll look perfect up in my little cubbies. So I'm loving that, of course. All right, so then the last place, so the last thing I picked up was a little um, small, like, flower sack. Um, I picked it up because I like the colors on it, and I want to hang another one up in my kitchen. I've got some ideas for what I want to do in my kitchen, so I've been looking for another one, and I found this one right here. It's so cute. I love the colors. are perfect. The yellow and the red and the little touch of black, and I think it is so cool. It says Stockton brand natural unbleached flour, home baker's choice. Doesn't really say where it's made. Oh, Minnesota, Stockton, Minnesota. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so then moving on to one of the thrift stores that we went to. I think this was unique that we went to. Um, the first thing I found was a little goodie bag filled with spiral candles. You guys know how much I love my spiral candles. This one was $1.99. And it has two large silver 
candles in it that have never been used. One ivory. And then a couple of little short little ones in there as well. So that was pretty cool. I don't have any ivory ones. I have white ones. And I didn't have any silver. So that was pretty cool. So I'm loving that. <laughs> and then this next item is hilarious. I found another goodie bag. And I got it for one reason only. Because it has something in it that my mom had growing up. I can't remember a time when she didn't have it in her kitchen um, like utensil drawer. So I picked up this little guy here for $2.99 and it's got some cute little, um, what do you call it? Oh boy. Uh, candles in it. Birthday candles. Two packages of birthday candles. Which I think are so cute. Um, I don't see a date on them, but these are definitely older because the they're skinnier. They're actually the ones that will fit into, do you remember when we were younger and they would have the little holders for the candles that you would stick into the cake? Well, these will actually fit in those little holders. And I have bought some of those little holders over the years and I've been given some. So I'm super excited to actually find the candles that will fit in them. Because candles you buy at the stores nowadays do not fit in those. So I'm pretty excited about this. So eventually I may use up the candles in here, but I will definitely be keeping the boxes. For fun, you know, like, I don't know. For, you know, it's fun. All right, so then the next thing in this thing was like one of those little grippy things for like getting um, jars open, which is a very handy thing to get. This one says, get a grip, chain nail lock. I don't know. Anyways, it's an advertisement one. All right, so then this is what I was after in this whole bag, and it is this Daisy shaped gripper to get you know like jar lids off and stuff isn't it just adorable i love it so much <laughs> i mean seriously i opened mom's drawer right now in her kitchen and she has this in there it has lasted her so long so i'm like i'm gonna totally get this <laughs> so i have my very own because you know i've got I had one of these little grippy things. I have no idea what happened to it. So now I have two of them. But this one is the one I was going after. And I think it's so cool. So super excited to have found that. I think that is so cool. Can't In a million years, I never would have thought I would have bought one of those. But I did. <laughs> All right, so I have two more things to share with you. And the first one being a glass dish with a cute little handle on it. I love that. And then the dish itself has got this gorgeous pattern on it. I love the scalloped edge and then the little, I don't know, these kind of look like daisies to me, but I guess you could call them starbursts. And it has one in the middle as well. And it is just absolutely beautiful. I just thought this was so pretty. I may use this in my main bathroom to like corral some of the little girls things I'm not really sure but of course it's always a nice one to have around for like serving piece when people come over as well so I thought this was definitely a good buy and I think it is amazing so that definitely had to come home with me all right so my very last thing that I found at the thrift store I took the tag off of it already I can't remember how much it was but you guys are not gonna believe this it is another oil lamp. Can you believe this? They actually had like two of them. And I picked this one because I like this one better. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a very unique shaped base. Kind of looks like a little heart or something right there. And then it's got some nice detailing here as well. And I... Love it. Oh, there's some detailing on the bottom as well. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. But it mimics the detailing that's up here. And I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. I already have this one all washed up and cleaned up so it's nice and sparkly. So now I just need to find a globe for the top of it. And then... Um, this one's ready to be used. <laughs> I'm so excited. So this makes four, you guys. Four of these. So I am super excited about this find. 
for sure. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I encourage you to go over to Jamie's channel because she is going to be sharing her shop with me and haul today as well from our time together. Her link will be down in the description box. When you go over there, make sure you say hi, share a little love with her down in the comments, and that would be wonderful of you. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know down in the comments which of these items you would have picked up yourself if you had come along shopping with us. And I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye now.